So the Nature Conservancy was approached through the Polynesian Voyaging Society to try to collaborate on a trip that encompassed traditional navigation training and crew training on board Hikianalia going up to the Northwest Hawaiian Islands and combining that with some science that the Nature Conservancy would help provide. And it was a, it was a great fit. There we have it. What is it? Point four, new record. Uh, so there are a few studies that are part of the worldwide voyage uh, that we jumped right into. They're looking at water quality monitoring with common water quality characteristics like oxygen and temperature. And any fish that we catch, we're looking at total length and taking a fin clip for a genetic study. And they're also looking at plankton, uh, catching the critters that live at the surface of the water. We passed through some amazing plankton communities because the winds were so slack. You could actually look at the surface of the ocean and see tons of plankton. Along with us just cruising along on those really calm days, we picked up a number of uh, pieces of marine debris, including uh, plastic floats, rubbish, and we even came across a weather balloon that was floating around in the ocean, which was really cool. Everybody in their everyday life just doing little things like that that make a big difference. For what we do at the Nature Conservancy, uh, we do fish assessments and coral health assessments all throughout the state of Hawaii. We extended those protocols and methods up to Mihoa, uh, which was outstanding but also a big challenge. Unfortunately we didn't get as many surveys as we wanted to get done but we did get a good feel for what is possible there and what kind of conditions we'll need. Uh, the reef there is so much different than the reef in the main Hawaiian Islands that we have a little bit more learning and tweaking to do on the methods before we, we try again. The Malama Honua mission coincides with the TNC mission. We're both working towards the same thing. We're both working towards giving a sustainable future for future generations. Traditional practices of Hawaii gave us an unbelievably healthy fish population. We've departed from that in a major way today, and getting back to community-driven and kuleana-based management is the, the best way to take care of this place. To me, a, na a native Hawaiian is, in his own way, like a great scientist. He's taking a look, look at everything around him and looked at them very carefully and the knowledge that they have is something that I think the modern Western science has been trying to learn for a very long time. In a sense, science is our culture, you know? All we did as people was observe the environment and that's what science is. And so there's no real difference between science and culture. That's what we do, it's just in a different fashion. Thank you.